In this video, we will take up the next biomolecule that is nucleotide. Now, we will see what exactly these nucleotides made up of first and then we will come to nucleic acids which are actually polymers of these nucleotides. So now when we use the word nucleotides, one, they are microbiomolecules. Their molecular weight is less. And they are made up of three things. They are made up of pentose sugar. Then the second thing, nitrogen bases. And third is phosphoric acid. Many of times, this phosphoric acid is only written as phosphate. So either we write phosphate or phosphoric acid, it is one and the same thing. Now pentose sugar, as the name tells us, these are five carbon sugars. They can be of two types, ribose sugar or deoxyribose sugar. Let us draw the structure quickly. Ribose sugar has one oxygen and four carbons in the ring. This is carbon number one, two, three, four and fifth. Now at carbon number two, we had written the functional group OH and H is here and at three is again H and O. So there are two functional groups. Whereas in case of deoxyribose, the ring is same, made up of one oxygen and four carbons. That is one, two, three, four. Fifth carbon is in the form of an R. And at carbon number two, OH is replaced by H. Or we can say there is one oxygen less. And that is why it is called deoxy. And at third carbon, there is this hydroxyl group or the functional group. So this is the difference between the two. All other carbons also have functional group. Here also there is OH, here also there is OH. Now we will take up those bond formations little later. Nitrogen bases, they are again of two types, purines and pyrimidines. Purines are two, adenine, and guanine. Pyrimidines are three. Thiamine or thiamidine, uracil and uracil and cytosine. These are three but in any nucleic acid there would be two purines and two pyrimidines present. One more difference between purines and pyrimidines, purines are dicyclic compounds, pyrimidines are monocyclic compounds. So this is the structural difference, there are two ring like structures in case of purine and only one in case of pyrimidine. Purines have four nitrogen atoms. And these nitrogen atoms are at carbon number 1, 3, 7 and 9. Whereas pyrimidines have two nitrogen atoms in its structure. And they are at carbon number 1 and 3. So structurally we can identify them on the basis of one cyclic uh, compound or two cyclic compounds. Now the third thing that is phosphoric acid which is present. Now how are these three things joined to form a nucleotide? So let us make this nucleotide structure here. This is our pentose sugar. Pentose sugar, we can take deoxyribose or ribose. Here we are talking of deoxyribose sugar which has OH at only carbon number 3. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4 and 5. At fifth carbon, there is we know is OH. At carbon number 1 is also OH. 
the nitrogen base is attached at carbon number 1. So here is going to be the nitrogen base. Now during this reaction this OH is gone and the bond is formed here. This bond is known as glycosidic bond. So at carbon number 1 of pentose sugar nitrogen base, it can be any nitrogen base, any of the purine or any of the pyrimidines is going to get attached by formation of a glycosidic bond. Here is phosphoric acid. Again, the carboxyl and OH groups or bond formation takes place here also. This bond is actually an ester bond. If you are able to remember fat formation, the neutral fats, we said glycerol and fatty acid, carboxyl group of fatty acid and OH of glycerol similarly. Carboxyl of this and OH of this. So the bond is ester bond. But many a times we write it as phosphoester bond because it is phosphate and alcohol. So it is phospho, sorry, phosphoester bond. And at some places, we also see it written as phosphodiester bond. Now, why is it called ester bond? Because it is carboxyl and OH. The carboxyl is of phosphoric acid, so phosphoester bond. And phosphodiester, because this is going to form one bond here. So, this bond is formed two ways. And that is why it is many a times written as phosphodiester ester bond and that is only because this bond is formed in both the directions but if we have to just specify one position then we will call it phosphoester bond here and glycosidic bond here this is how nucleotide is formed three things pentose sugar nitrogen base and phosphoric acid sugars can be any one of these ribose or deoxyribose RNA has ribose sugar, DNA has deoxyribose sugar. Then nitrogen bases, two categories, purines and pyrimidines. Purines are two and we write the symbols as A here, G for guanine, here T, U and C. These are the symbols which we normally use for these nitrogen bases. DNA has two of purines and two of pyrimidines. Purines are these two, pyrimidines are T and C. Whereas RNA has two purines and two pyrimidines as A and G are common. Here in place of T it has U. So RNA would have U and C and amongst purines the same two. So difference is DNA has T, RNA has U. And this is how the nucleotide structure is Form. Now we will see the difference between a nucleotide and a nucleoside. So let us see the difference between nucleosides and nucleotides. Nucleosides and nucleotides. We have seen this in detail. So we will write this. It has pentose sugar plus a nitrogen base plus phosphoric acid. So when these three things are combined, the molecule or the compound that we get, not molecule, the complex compound that we get is known as nucleotide. When we are using the word nucleoside, it has pentose sugar plus nitrogen base. There is no phosphoric acid. So if to the pentose sugar nitrogen base is attached but there is no phosphoric acid then we will call it nucleoside. If we simply draw that molecular structure this is pentose sugar carbon 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here nitrogen base is attached it can be any of the bases 
add this that is OH if we are drawing deoxyribose sugar and the fifth carbon with its functional group that is OH is free then we call it a nucleoside whereas here the structure is this is the pentose sugar carbon number one has nitrogen base again we are talking of deoxyribose sugar this is carbon number five and attached is phosphoric acid this is one this is carbon number two so this is structural difference but there is a difference in its nature also due to presence of phosphoric acid it is slightly acidic so nucleosides are slightly acidic whereas here there is no uh, carboxyl group so they are slightly basic so comparatively because of this phosphoric acid the acidic nature of nucleotide is achieved now we will write down the names this is pentose sugar pentose sugar and nitrogen base is adenine then the nucleotide will oh sorry nucleoside will be given a name here there is no phosphoric acid pentose sugar plus thymine pentose sugar plus cytosine pentose sugar plus guanine pentose sugar plus uracil that means there are five different types of nucleosides that we get and what we are going to do is we'll shift this so that we have purines and pyrimidines together two purines together and three pyrimidines now let us see the names if this is the combination then the nucleoside will be termed as adenosine in this case it will be called guanosine if we come to pyrimidines the naming is different it is cytidine so from sine it has changed to dine here it is thymidine in this case it is uridine so the names are also different based on purines and pyrimidines these are the names of five nucleosides so these are the nucleosides that we have written same thing we will talk in terms of nucleotides now what is here pentose sugar plus phosphoric acid plus now the same nitrogen basis pentose sugar plus phosphate plus g pentose sugar plus phosphate plus now we have come to pyrimidines pentose sugar plus phosphate plus c pentose sugar plus phosphate plus u any nucleic acid would have only two of these pyrimidines so that we will take up when we come to nucleic acid structure now let us see the name this nucleotide will be called adenylic acid now as soon as we use the word acid that means this phosphoric acid is added this will be called guanylic acid now we are coming to pyrimidines this is known as sorry thiamidylic acid this would be called cytidylic acid and this would be called uridylic acid so these five are the nucleotides so the difference is phosphoric acid but the nitrogen bases are same but when they are attached only to the sugar their name is different because now they are nucleosides and when they are attached to uh, pentose sugar base and phosphoric acid 
then we call them nucleotides and these are the names of nucleotides and nucleosides. This is the difference between the two. Both are biomolecules of micro level that means they have less molecular weight but when many nucleotides combine or polymerize we get the nucleic acid and nucleic acids are kept under macromolecules. So in the next segment we will start with macromolecules that is nucleic acids.